Hi, today I have an impromptu video showing you how to improve your headphones on Linux. So what I have running right now is Fedora, I think. Just let's see. Yes, it is Fedora and it's running in a virtual machine and which I'll use to show you how to do this. And the tools that we need are Pulse Effects, which is an audio processing program similar to Equalizer APO that you might see on Windows. And the second thing that we need is an Equalizer preset for Oratory 1990. These presets will adjust your headphones to follow the Harman target curve. So what is the Harman target curve, you might ask? It is that green line over there. So using measurement tools, you can measure the frequency response of headphones. So how loud certain frequencies are compared to each other. So that red line is the error. It's the difference between the blue line, which is the measured headphones, compared to the green line, which is the target. And what the presets do is that they reverse this error. If you have an error and then you add that with an adjustment that is the exact opposite of that error, they cancel out. And in theory, your headphones should sound very similar to the target response. So let's look at what we need to get again. So pulse effects, um, scroll down to the installation section. Um, I'm on Fedora, so let's look at that. Yeah, it's all right, don't need that anyways. So on a terminal, again, this is for Fedora, but it shouldn't be too different for other distros. Okay, so sudo dnf install dash y pulse effects. So I'm pretty sure I've already installed the software, but if it wasn't installed already, this would do that. The second thing that we need is an equalizer file. So I'm using a Sennheiser HD 650s. Pick the one that says Armin A slash OE because that's the best one. I already have that downloaded, so I have to get this instead. Whoop. Anyhow, so you notice the same thing again. That's the green line, that's your target curve, and the red line is the error. So what the EQ does, the EQ is this black line here. You notice that it is the opposite kind of of that red line. So it would revert that error and turn your headphones response into something like that. So very close to the green line and should sound better. So looking at the bottom left side of the PDF, you'll see a list of filters. So this is what we need to apply in order to reach that EQ curve. So let's open up Pulse Effects. So on the left hand side, choose Equalizer, activate it. And this is what you'll be presented with. First, let's go to settings up top and click start service at login to make sure that um, the audio processing is always enabled. First, so there's 30 bands in here. That's way too many. So click this cog wheel, change it to 10 bands or maybe 12 if you want to adjust the sound to your taste. And now all we got to do is apply each of these filters to each of these bands. So we've got 10 bands here and four columns. So the first one is filter type. Click on the cog wheel above each channel. In here it says bell. But I suppose that would be the same thing. Frequency, which is 23 hertz. Gain, which we have to adjust by dragging this bar up and down to get it just right, I hope. 2.60, beautiful. And Q factor or quality, which should be 1.6. So just so imagine that the adjustment curve here is a bell. So the Q factor would just how sharp that bell is. So high Q factor would be extremely sharp, 
low Q factor would be not sharp at all. Let's do that for the next channel. So the filter type here is low shelf. And the frequency is 70 hertz. Q factor is 0 0.7 this time. And again, just gotta drag it up to 7.5 decibels. Yeah, that's close enough. And let's do this one more time. So bell curve at 210 hertz, Q factor of 1.0 hit enter to apply that and that is the gain is negative 2.2 decibels try to get a little bit closer yeah that's good enough and you would apply that to the rest of the bands that you've chosen. One more thing that we need to do is adjust the gain. In some of these um, bands, we have made the signal louder. We have increased the signal. So we need to reduce the gain to cancel that increase out and prevent um, digital clipping. So our preamp gain is set to negative 10 decibels, so we just drag that down to negative 10 decibels. So that's what I have. So again, all 10 channels and the input. Right, let's try playing something on Spotify. And I'll probably turn the volume down a little bit. All right, let's see. So we have the equalizer curve on right now. And one way to know if this is working or not is to turn to toggle the equalizer. So you notice that um, there's a volume change. That's because of the preamp gain that we have applied. That makes everything a little bit more quiet. So I hope that you, you do own a HD 650s because I'm gonna do a quick listening test. So it does, I mean, I'm obviously biased, but I could tell that there is a difference. Um, the bass is much more pronounced and more of what you would expect from a hi-fi system than from a Sennheiser HD 650s, which is good. So I suggest spending some time playing with this and see what you can do with it. And I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Oh yeah, if you've stayed here for long enough, I was one more thing to show you, it's a bonus. So the wallpaper this time around is from Heat and K. Um, the artist makes all kinds of beautiful art. Um, that's the picture as usual, I just steal photos of the internet and then I put it on as my wallpaper. Anyhow.